Welcome to the World of Warcraft, Mists of Pandaria. I opened up World of Warcraft here last week, and I haven't played it for about a year. I've paid for it the whole time I've owned it, which is, I got it right when it came out. So I've uh, actually played this game for years. What's it been out? Eight, nine years now? Um, anyway, I thought it would be kind of nostalgic to go through, because I was kind of being a little nostalgic, getting teary-eyed as I went through. Uh, like I said, I haven't played for about a year, and recently uh, I was talked into jumping in the game again on a short time basis, and I decided to go through every one of my characters, open them up, and see if there was any uh, in-game mail or anything that I needed to do with these characters since I haven't uh, visited them in about a year. And I thought, you know what, it might be kind of fun to make a little video on this. Because, uh, again, I, I, I've spent a lot of time in this game, and I thought it would be kind of nice. So, let me just go through my characters. In World of Warcraft, you can have, on each server, 10 characters. You can have a total of 50 characters in the game. I actually have 50 characters in this game. And surprisingly enough, a lot of them are pretty high level. So, let's start off. This was not my first character, Doohan. Uh, I played a character named Roland what, that was a paladin. And I didn't really care for playing uh, warriors and paladins. I definitely not played a warrior. I don't think I even have a warrior character. I uh, just don't like them. For one thing, I don't like playing a tank. I'm not very good at it. And uh, in this game... If you're in a party and you go into, you know, an instance and you're the tank and you're not very good at it, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. People are going to hate you. Uh, so I've never played a tank. But anyway, I made Roland. He was my first character and he was a paladin. And he was on this server. Um, he is not any longer. And I'll talk to you about that when we, uh, when we visit him. He is on a different server and we will visit him. So this is Doohan. After I created Roland, uh, I got invited to a uh, guild, and I had been playing Doohan. He's a level 84 hunter. Now, I tend to play a lot of hunters because I like playing a hunter in this game. And I figured, what well, you couldn't have a dwarf that wasn't a hunter. Come on. Um, but anyway, I, uh, I made Doohan, and I was playing him, and I got invited to this guild. And when I did, they said, oh, you're a hunter. I said, yeah, is that a problem? And they said, well, we've got a half a dozen hunters. Uh, so, yeah, we don't really need another hunter. And I said, well, okay, fine. I have another character. This, the, uh, the third character that I made was Sephira. And so I said, she's a druid. Oh, oh. We need druids. We don't have any druids. And I said, okay, well, I'll start playing Sephira then. So then I brought Sephira into this guild and started playing her. Now, she's a level 81 druid. And this was the third character I made. I made, uh, again, Roland first and then Doohan. And then I made Sephira. And I ended up playing her for the longest time. And within this time frame that I played with this guild, uh, they lost a bunch of their hunters. Now, all of a sudden, they came and said, uh, do you remember Doohan? I said, well, yeah, he's my hunter. Would you mind switching over? Because we need some hunters now. So I ended up switching back to Doohan in this guild, and I ended up playing him more than I played uh, Sephira. But I would switch back and forth between the two. And you can see they're fairly close, 84 and 80, 81. And then my next character I made was Twitlock. Now, this is kind of funny because... Twitlock was a name that I thought was kind of hilarious for a gnome. And uh, Twitlock is a warlock, and as you see, he's a level 81, so again, he's fairly high level. And um, Twitlock, I thought, well, with a gnome being small, I thought, well, he's a little twit. And he, and he acts like a little twit. And so I'm going to name him Twitlock. And I played him for quite some time. When I met a character in the guild that said, Oh, that is so creative. And I said, What? 
Well, the name of your of your little gnome is is really creative. I said, how so? And they said, well, Twit and Locke. Isn't he a warlock? And I said, yes. Well, Twit Locke, warlock. I got to thinking about it, and it had never entered my mind. This guy was thinking I'm creative for creating that name. Never entered my mind. But anyway, so he was the fourth character I made. And then from there, I have no idea. I can't remember. I, I, there was a point where somebody asked me to join the Horde. Every character I had on this server happened to be uh, Alliance because I enjoyed playing the Alliance. And my son played with me at the time, and uh, he, he played Alliance with me. We just we just liked to play Alliance. But there was a, a group of people on Shadow Song that were friends of ours that played the Horde, and so I had to transfer some of the characters that I had on Sh uh, Shadow Song over to a different server so that I had room to make some Horde characters. And so that's what I did. Uh, but anyway, the next one that I have to show you is a 63 level mage. And her name is Caterin. And uh, I enjoy playing the mage. They're pretty powerful. And so I, I ended up playing her quite a little bit, but uh, still I only got her in the 60s. But still, that's pretty high. Um, and then the next one I made was Alize. And I made these two about the same time. It was when the um, the uh, expansion came out for the Draenei or Dra Draenei, whichever you prefer. I say Draenei, but everybody else calls it a Draenei. Um, but anyway, I made a priest. Now, I never really liked playing priest all that much. Never really got, got into it, but I'm going to. I'm going to come back because I want to level one of these pre characters up, these uh, priests. So I made these two when the uh, Draenei faction came out. And then this was the first um, Horde character. That, well, no, this was the second Horde character that I made. I had another Horde character that I transferred out to another server. But Eronwan was my next, uh, my first Horde character, or second Horde character that I made to play. And I wanted to play the Blood Elf. And so that's why I created her. And um, she, they, they happen to be Horde. So, and I got her up to level 83. And then I have a character named Thomper. Uh, he's a 31 rogue. I never enjoyed playing rogue all that much because I don't really care for sneaking up on people and stabbing them in the back. That always seemed a little cowardly to me. And uh, so, so I never really got into playing the rogue. Um, I'm, I'm not real good at stealth games and you kind of play the rogue stealthily. You're sneaking up and you're invisible and you know you're stabbing people in the back and that kind of thing. And I never was very good at being stealthy. So, as you see, I only got uh, Thomper up to level 31. And again, someday I keep thinking someday I want all my characters leveled up if the game goes that long. And then my next one was uh, my uh, second attempt to make a priest and uh, play a horde character. So I made Perlin. And um, she's a blood elf, and I got her up actually higher than uh, Alize. Alize. So, um, yeah. So I, I I got her up a little bit higher, even though she's bored. And then this was uh, Isabella. This is my first Pandorian when that expansion came out, and she's a level 36 monk. And so I enjoy, enjoyed playing her for a while. But I never got her up very high either, uh, just because by the time that expansion came out, uh, I was pretty much, well, I was pretty much wore out, burned out on the game, so I, I wasn't playing as much. And so it was uh, a little bit harder to create, make, and play a, a new character. When they came out with the goblins, I uh, made one called Crazy Bean, and she's a level 20 mage. And again, uh, to get a, a character up to level 20 doesn't take a lot of time. It's fairly easy to do that. The first 10 levels are just a snap, and the next 10 aren't too bad. So there's not a whole lot of time in, in there. But if you take a look, um, I've got an 84, an 81, an 81, a 63. Even the 43 is not too bad. Another 83. You know, I've got some pretty high-level characters here. 
So, um, and this was my first server. And let's go to my second server. I changed servers when my son's friends end up playing a bunch of Horde characters, and they were on Queldorai. And so my son and I both created characters over there so that we could play with them. And I have to tell you, on Shadow Song, uh, I am the guild master uh, of, a, uh, of a guild. And I'm also guild master in two guilds on this server. So, Lisbeth is a character that I finally got up to level 90. She is my first level 90 character. And in all the time I played, I never got a character all the way up. And about, oh gosh, a year ago or so, my son, he hadn't been able to play for the longest time because he couldn't afford the uh, monthly fee. And so I think I paid for about three months during the summer and we sat down and decided to get a character each up to level 90 and we worked at it until we got there. So this was my very first level 90 character. And of course, she's a hunter. That's what I love to play. So then the next one is my death knight. This is my first death knight that I made. Her name is Adeline. And I got her up to level 80 and at First, I really loved playing a Death Knight, and the more I played, the less I kind of enjoyed it. And but I did manage to get her up to level 80, and I kind of like the fact that she's a Drunai. Uh, then this character, and character is the word. This was Roland. This character was my very, very first character that I made. And Roland was a paladin on Shadow Song. And I started playing Hunter and Druid and enjoyed it a whole lot much more than playing a paladin. And so I stopped playing him. And it wasn't until, oh, several years later that I finally, I needed room on Shadow Song for some characters uh, that I was asked to make. And I didn't have room. But it was my first character. I couldn't delete him. And so I paid to have him sent over to Queldorai. And since I was plain, uh, paying to have him transferred, at, I had the opportunity for a name change and, and all of that. Well, I couldn't call him Roland if he was a girl. So I changed his name to Caterin and brought him over here and then decided to play him. So I did and I got him up to level 80. And then there's Shadow Cat. She was my first warlock on this uh, on this server, and I got her up to level 60. And it was an, another attempt to play a human. I didn't care to play humans in World of Warcraft because, well, for one thing, if you've seen the male humans, they look like cavemen, and uh, I just didn't enjoy playing male humans. So this was one of my attempts to to play a human. And I made her a warlock, and I got her up to level 60. That's uh, pretty good. Now, Moldurum, this was my first uh, horde character, my very, very first one. He also was on Shadow Song, and I ended up moving him over here. And he's a shaman. I hate, I literally hate playing a shaman. But... Like I said, he was my first Horde character, and it was my only Tauren character. And the reason I didn't like playing Torrens is, look at him, they're huge. And he's not even a big one. He's a smaller uh, size Horde, uh, Torrin. But imagine that there's somebody in front of him, and he's fighting. You can't see who you're fighting. He's too big. And if you put him on a mount, it's like driving a tank around. They're just huge. Uh, so that fact and the fact that he's a shaman and I hated playing shaman I never played him I only got him up to like a level 20 but when I brought him over to this server I decided you know that's not giving him a fair shake again like Roland he was one of my first characters and um, so I decided to go ahead and play him for a while so I got him up to level 60 and I have to say that nowadays they've changed the way the shamans are played so much that they're they're not so hard to play and they're they're a little more enjoyable to play so, yeah, I want to get on him and, and get him leveled up, too, someday. Then there's Harbinger. 
Now, Harbinger, obviously, is a worgen, and um, as well as Elizabeth was a worgen. Elizabeth was my first worgen. Harbinger is my second worgen that I made, and it happens to be a male, and I usually leave him in a worgen form because I said they're better looking than the, <laughs> than the male humans. But Har Harbinger, and, and I have to tell you this, Harbinger, this is Harbinger, it looks like Harbinger, but 90% um, of the time, if you have a name that you want in a MMO, somebody else has already gotten it. And so I couldn't find, I couldn't make Harbinger. So I made Harbinger, but I call it Harbinger. And that's what you have to do. You have to, uh, you, you, know, you have to make a name, like Lisbeth was L-I-S-B-E-F-E-T-H. And somebody already had it, so I had to make it Lizbeth. Uh, that's the way it is. I, I had to laugh because there's been several times where I've met somebody or talked to somebody and said, well, do you realize that you misspelled that name? Uh, and the first thing I do is I look at him and I said, you've never played an MMO, have you? <laughs> because very small chance of you getting the name you really wanted that somebody already hasn't got. And so, but anyway, that's why his name spelled the way it is. And he's a mage, another mage. And uh, I haven't played him much. I got him up to level 35. And then, if you notice here, there's another Sephira. And speaking about names, obviously Sephira spelled wrong. Uh, but, of course, every time I went to a server, that name was already taken. So I spelled it Sapphira. And it turned out okay because uh, people in my our groups always used to just call me Sap. And so that was fine, but she's a level 28 priest. I liked the look of the character that I made on Shadow Song, and you know I liked the uh, female elf, and so I just made another Sephira over here as a priest. And I obviously haven't played her all that much. She's only level 28. And then I have another Alize that's spelled uh, completely different than the other Alize on the other server, and she's a little rogue uh, gnome. I just thought it would be funny to have uh, this little gnome rogue running around stabbing people in the back. Uh, she actually has to reach up to stab you in the back. But again, she's only level 20, as you can tell, I haven't played her very much. And then I have another monk over here named Suki. And interestingly enough, these low, some of these low-level characters I made because I, was, uh, I got talked into making a new character to play with a group of people. And then they'd play up to level 20, 30, and then they would quit. And so I end up having these low-level characters that I really had not, uh, had not really intended to make. And that's what happened with Suki. And um, so anyway, she's a level 29 monk. And then I have Heather, another worgen that I wanted to make uh, a female worgen that was a uh, druid. And so uh, in this case, I wanted a character that was druid, and the people that I was playing with at the time wanted an all worgen group. And so um, I ended up saying, okay, well, I want to play druid, and so I made Heather. And again, as you can see, we started out playing, and, and everybody quit. And so I ended up having a low-level uh, worgen druid. But now, if you take a look at those two servers, you can see that here I've got a level 90, a level 80, a level 80, a level 60, a level 60. On the other one, I had the same kind of thing. I've got some pretty high level characters and you have to, you can only imagine how many hours of this game I've played to have uh, characters up, you know, like that. Most people take one or two characters and level them up and that's all they ever have. I've actually got 50 and I only just showed you 20. So, to make this kind of short and sweet, I'll kind of show you what else I've got. Um, on Steam Wheel Cartel, I've got 10 characters. On Gnome Regon, I've got 10 more characters. On Moonrunner, I've got 5. And on Doomhammer, I have 3. Now, the Moonrunner, I, I put character, a couple characters on there because I thought Moonrunner was uh, a pretty cool name. And I, didn't, um, I kind of figured that the server would fill up. And I wanted to get some uh, some characters on Moonrunner. The Gnome Regon, um, 
I thought it would be cool to have a gnome character on Gnomeragon. And so I made a character on Gnomeragon and ended up then making nine more uh, placeholders for some of the names that I really enjoyed playing. Doomhammer is kind of the same thing. I knew a kid that played on Doomhammer. I started a character over there. Uh, I played for several months and the guild broke up and you know I stopped playing. He, he talked me into coming over to join their guild and, and I did and I got a character up oh maybe in the 40s and um, and then the guild broke up and there I was left with nobody to play with and so I I kind of stopped playing there. Now Duratan on this server is one that I just started these characters just last week and again I haven't played this game for about a year but I uh, I have a, a, a friend of uh, well my daughter's boyfriend actually that plays uh, and he plays horde characters on Duratan and he said uh, when he found out that I played uh, WoW he said well why don't you create a character and come play with us so I did I made Thomper actually and I started playing with them just just a few days ago, actually. And I've got him up to level 11, just playing for a couple hours. And then uh, Kerrigan, uh, I made her because I had not played... I don't play a lot of Horde. Uh, but I wanted a, an Orc uh, character. And I, I kind of like... I don't know. I kind of like Amazon-type style uh, female characters. And the story behind Kerrigan was, I had a friend of mine that played Horde. And, and I never played with him because I, I didn't play on their server. But he was telling me that he, in his guild, had a buddy. And his buddy was a warrior or a paladin, one of the two. And was a very heavily armored character. And so he never saw this guy without full armor on and he played with this guy for two years. And one, one day, the guildmaster said, I want everybody to come to Ogremar, and we're going to have a group picture taken for our website. And he said, I want, uh, I want one with full armor and one with no armor. And so they came, and he, stood, he was standing beside his buddy, and he started looking around in game. And, and he said, Wh what? His buddy, without armor, was a female. And he didn't know it. Because look how buff these characters are. <laughs> They're pretty buff. So he'd been playing for two years with an orc character that he thought was a male and wasn't. So I had to, when I got over and, and, and started a horde character, I had to make a female orc just because. So that's, where, that's why I made Kerrigan. But at any rate, there we are. That's my trip th uh, through... Uh, memory lane and I wanted to share that with you just to let you see what I used to do before I started playing farmer uh, simulator and you know obviously from what little bit you guys know me already you know I've played tons and tons of different games you know I've played Rift I've played uh, you know the Final Fantasy all of Final Fantasy games I played Final Fantasy 11 for years I played Final Fantasy uh, the new one um, and, you know, I've, I've just played tons and tons and tons of games. But think about what I just showed you, all those characters I have that are such high level. Uh, how many hours and hours and hours of gameplay? Because it's not just gameplay. Every one of those characters have professions. You know, I was a, I was a leather maker. I was a, you know, a, a blacksmith. I, you know, I did um, cooking and fishing and all of those things take an awful lot of time. I mean, you can come in and do nothing but fishing to try to level your fishing up for weeks and weeks and weeks and never reach the you know, high-level fishing. But So it's a lot of time, and I was feeling a little, a little teary-eyed going through my old characters, and I thought I would share that with you. So that's it for this episode, and or for this video anyway. And I just wanted to kind of share that with you, and I hope you had a good time. And I wish you all well, and I'll see you in the next video.